Hello friends, and welcome to today's episode. A high school student who is 18 years old spent the last six years of his life taking care of his mother, who was dying. Before his mother died, the boy gave her one last wish. Caleb Woodrum cared for his dying mother for the last six years of his life. The 18-year-old senior at Oklahoma's Blanchard High School had been helping his mom, Stacy Circles, take care of herself by making sure she went to her usual doctor's visits and helping out in other ways. Circles had an atrial septal flaw, congestive heart failure, and chronic obstructive lung disease, according to Good Morning America. Even though Woodrum was taking care of his mother, he didn't know how bad her sickness was. According to the young man, she kept her illness a secret from her children to protect them. When Woodrum called the hospital on March 2027, he finally got to talk to someone who told him how badly his mother was getting worse. Wardham said she didn't really tell anyone. The news was shocking, but it made the last days Woodrum, his three older brothers, and circles spent together even more special. And because of a nurse, it would be a time full of good things. Circles spent most of her last days in a hospital bed, where she got close to the people who took care of her. Her breathing therapist, Katie Crouch, asked her patient a lot of questions about how she wanted to spend her last days. This is how Crouch found out Circles' last wish, and Crouch would make sure it happened. Crouch took action when she heard Circles say she wanted to keep going until she could see her younger son finish high school. Circles spent her last day with her family and held her smallest child's hand. One person who was there said, there wasn't a dry eye in that room. When Crouch called another nurse at the hospital where Circle spent her last days, Integris Health Southwest Medical Center, the respiratory therapist already had a plan. Crouch told Christina Hopkins about the dying mother's last wish, and Hopkins said she would do it right away. The two close friends worked together to make Circle's last days as memorable and happy as possible. Hopkins remembered that Crouch told her what she was planning, and she said, okay, and I took off with it right away. The nurse went on Facebook and asked everyone she knew for decorations for the graduation. The team at Integris got together enough food and arrangements for the party to happen the next day. They also talked to Greg Jackson, the head of the school where Woodrum was a student, Blanchard High School. Jackson was more than happy to help his students and the people who worked at the hospital. At first, Jackson and the rest of his management staff thought the hospital was going to hold the impromptu graduation event a few weeks later. When the Integris team said they wanted to make it happen by the next day, people at Blanchard High realized what was going on. They put things in action on their end, like getting a cap and gown and everything else needed for a graduation. By Tuesday, March 2028, the school staff was at Woodrum's hospital and ready to send him out into the world as a graduate. All that was left was for Woodrum to show up. Everyone was there by noon. Woodrum had arrived and was wearing his graduation cap and gown, which were both burgundy. The lobby of the hospital was decorated with a big sign that said Congratulations Grad, and two rows of flags that said Congratulations Class of 2023. The early graduate walked into Circle's hospital room as Woodrum's family and the few other people there gathered. While the mother of four watched from her hospital bed, the graduation event was held right there. Woodrum held his mother's hand the whole time, and when it was over, they gave each other a heartfelt hug. Hopkins thought back. Woodrum said that he had never thought about the event happening before, but that he was glad he could share it with his mother. The mother and son stood for a picture, with Woodrum in his graduation clothes and his mother holding his diploma. After Jackson said that Woodrum had graduated well, the guests brought in a bowl of flowers and gave Woodrum a small packet. Woodrum opened the box and read the note on the gift he had bought for his mom's birthday the next day. Woodrum read aloud, Mom, I'm glad you're my mother. Caleb, I'll love you slowly. Woodrum, who had just finished, took a band out of the box and put it on his mother's wrist as the guests looked on with respect. Hopkins talked about the event and said that she was so proud of Woodrum when he got the recognition he so earned for getting through high school while taking care of his mom. Jackson was glad that he and the other people involved were able to do something that the young man would remember for the rest of his life. The next day, on Circles' 57th birthday, Wednesday, March 2029, at 9.45 a.m., the mother of four died. Woodrum said that his mother wrote him a touching goodbye note. My mom told me she loves me and that I should never forget it, the young man said. I told her, no, I won't. That's it for today, friends. Please let us know what you think about this story. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon for more amazing stories.